How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and last time we uh... Oops, I don't need to use a repel, I'm too awesome for that. Last time, we went through Clay Tunnel, and we found ourselves the Reggie Trio. That's right, I caught myself Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock. Not necessarily in that order though. Um, so, one place we could go after going through there, actually you can go to it any time after beating the game, that's Twist Mountain. And there are three different ways to get inside of Twist Mountain. Hey, it's Marshall. You're gonna let me through here. Devin! Oh, I see. So you travel all around like this and toughen yourself up then. Well, I suppose you have many battles ahead of you. Pokemon battles as a Pokemon trainer. Battles about how you should live your life. You'll lose sometimes, but I think what matters is that you do things your own way. If you surpass what you've done before, you have bested yourself. Well then, I'll be waiting for your challenge at the Pokemon League. Whoa, nice jump, pal. I wish I could do that. Uh, yeah, so if you approach from Route 7, you'll run into Marshall there. Otherwise, you can just go straight inside from, uh, let's see, I think it's Isaris City. And then you can also get there from the basement in, uh, Clay Tunnel. There's a path there that leads you to the very basement of this place. Now, it changes depending on what season it is. Really, if it's winter, you'll have an entirely different route to get through here. Some areas will be blocked off. I'm just going to run through um, from this entrance because this is the same... <laughs> Hello there, wild Pokemon. How are you? Oh, it's a Woobat. That's just great. Um, I'm just going to run through it just like the uh, old black and white version because it's the path I'm most familiar with. It's probably not the quickest to get to. Obviously, Isaris City is the quickest to get to. And if you want to just get your uh, self Reggie Gigas at the basement there, see that little uh, little house thing and the cave right by it, right by the bulldozer. Yeah, that's where the um, that's where you'd end up if you took Clay Tunnel to get there. And that's where Reggie Gigas is. But I'm going to explore all around. So right over here, you'll find a float stone, floaty, floaty, floaty. Um, yeah, uh, let's see what this guy has to say. In winter, snow piles up all over Twist Mountain. It gets totally white. Yep, it's true. You can actually, straight from this room, you can walk all the way down there and just all over the place. I think you have to go around, though. Yeah, see back here where there's this red shard? Yeah, you could, uh, walk on down. Um, maybe I'll show you that, but for right now, I'm just going to go through the other three seasons and hope that you can figure it out anyway. So, let's, uh, head inside here, see what we got. I'll probably wind up using a repel or something. Oops. Hello, hello. Let's see you take a powerful attack from veteran workers like us. Uh-oh. A powerful attack. I have met a powerful foe. Hello, worker. Oh, he has a frag and roller. That's not powerful. You mean to tell me that is powerful? Thankfully, I have just the thing to get rid of that sturdy. <laughs> yeah, fake out. Boom. Just enough to do a little bit of damage to get around that sturdy. So jump kick will take it out. I am probably going to jinx myself here, but I'm just going to throw it out there and say I haven't missed with jump kick or high jump kick in a while. I feel pretty good about that. Oh, Graveler, let's see. I'm going to send out Scaleaf and hope this thing doesn't decide to blow up or something. That would be pretty rude. Hello, big boulder face. Oh, I need to get rid of strength on this, this snake. I had to teach it while I was going through something. Oh, darn it, sturdy. Stealth rock. How stealthy. Yeah, well, I'll use it up. Why not? Stupid HM move! Ah! <laughs> Critical hit. Excadrill. Oh, man. I really do want to switch out. Actually, I don't need to switch out. I can handle it. It doesn't have that great of defense, anyway. And since it's part ground type, it's going to be uh, neutral damage here. Oh, wow. Well, that didn't do as much as I was hoping. <laughs> oh my goodness, why do you get a critical hit? Why do you always get a critical hit? 
on me. It's just insane. There we go. Okay, well, took that Excadrill out. Cool, even when they lose, they're powerful. Wow, that's, uh, that's good to hear there. Oh yeah, wild Pokemon. Now there are a few interesting wild Pokemon here. Particularly ones that were not present before. That's right, you can find yourself heat more. Heat more gonna eat more in here. And uh, this pure fire type, it's you know, not all that great, but it's kind of interesting. It eats Durants for breakfast, and you can also find Durant in here. So I hear. As well as Bear Tick, and I think you can. Oh, hey, look, there's Durant. It can jump really high. Uh, wow, level 57. That is a strong bug. Oh my goodness, it's fast. Yeah, this little monster, it'll prevent you from running away if you're using slower Pokemon. And let me tell you, Sakurai is not that slow. So that should give you an idea of its, of its speed. Ugh, I'm getting bored with these wild Pokemon already, although at least it's shown me a few uh, interesting ones. And Woobats! Ugh, Woobats! Darn things. Little heart noses and everything. Oh, well, whatever. Um, you can also find, I think you can still find Cryogonal in here. But there's also Beartic! You're more likely to find them in the winter, though. In the summer months, you're, uh, really not too likely to find any of those icy Pokemon. Out here, you can find, ooh, a veteran, and he has three Pokemon on his team! Yikes, in a triple battle, Crobat, Tauros, and Karakosta. Hopefully I have the right matchup here. Eh, it looks pretty good. Oh, that Intimidate is mean. Oh. Um... Let's see, normally I'm a big fan of using Fake Out. Actually, I might as well use it on that Crobat. I think that'll give me some trouble. Let's use Leaf Blade on Caracosta. Oh, let me think here. Yeah, we'll do that. I really want that Crobat out of here right away. So I'm going to use Thunderbolt on it. Fake Out will prevent it from striking. What the? No! Inner focus! Ah! <laughs> oh. Well, there goes that. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Wow, that hit hard. Like, that hit really hard. Ah. Okay, what's that Caracosta gonna do? That thing's probably just gonna wreck some face. Stone Edge. That's a pretty weak idea. <laughs> yeah, critical hit. Hey, look at me. Alright, well, let's just see. Oh, I'm trying to think of who... Oh, right. So, I have to now switch positions here. I have to switch with one of my fainted Pokémon because this is a triple battle. So, where do I want to put Maryland? I want to put Maryland where Scaleaf was. So, we'll do that. And then, uh... No, that's not it. No, maybe... Uh... I can never figure this out. There we go. Okay, fine. That's exactly how I wanted it. It's so confusing, that whole way of doing things. Rock Smash. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's see. So, we're gonna superpower that Tauros and send it to Kingdom Come. And then we're going to, um, hmm. Guess I'm just going to, wow. Might not do enough. Well, I'll just use Waterfall. It'll do neutral damage to anything. And, um, we'll Thunderbolt that Caracosta. Oh no, here comes the Thrash. Jeez, that hits hard. Tauros is so strong and fast. That's <laughs> one nasty bull. Hopefully, oh, not enough to take it out. Jeez. Well, hopefully I made the right decision then. Uh, I think I hit Tauros. I'll have to see. I knew that thing would have sturdy. Yeah, there we go. Right call. Right call. Oh, man. 
This guy's pretty rough. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some major healing afterwards. Uh, you know what? Let's just use Rocksmith. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever. Whatever! You have, like, one hit point left. It's not gonna make a difference. Yeah! Take that, you darn turtle! Boom! Level 62! Magnet Rise. That's kind of alright. I don't really want to get rid of anything, though. It would remove its weakness to ground and make it just pretty much untouchable. Uh, alright. Well, whatever, pal. You and your daily workout. You, 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 you work out. Um, hmm. Alright, I need to do some healing here, since that guy just kind of wrecked face with Tauros. Alright, come on. Healing up Scaly Leaf. Healing up Sakurai. Now I gotta use some items. Oh, wow, I'm down to three Moo Moo Milks. Jeez. I've been drinking those things so much. Oh, well, we'll just heal. There we go. And a Hyper Potion for the road. I think there's a doctor coming up. Oh, that guy really did a number on me. Oh, well, no big deal. I've got this, bro. Oh, there's a nurse down there. Watch, it's probably right outside. I probably just wasted all those items. Oh, well, hopefully it'll be in the name of preventing you from making a similar mistake. Oh, it's a heat more. It's gonna eat more. I don't want it. I really don't. And I think I'm just going to end up using repels because, like, I don't know. I'm finding just too many Pokemon. Oh, whoops. I don't think there's anything too much more exciting in here. Twist Mountain's number one tactician. That's me. Is that you, huh? What makes you such an excellent tactician, eh? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, for a moment I was worried that... It'd be a uh, triple battle or rotation battle. But it seems like it's just a normal one. And she has a Glaceon on her team. Ooh, it's so pretty. Um, pretty easy to take out. Now, this is probably the point where I'm going to miss with High Jump Kick. And I'm pretty much prepared for it. Yep, I knew it! Ah. Well, I have gotten pretty lucky. But that does stink! Oh, that stinks. So, let's see... Oh, I'm trying to remember what kind of stats this thing has. Hopefully it... I don't know. I'm just gonna use Flash Cannon. There's nothing I can really do to Magneto anyway. I think just the more damage I can do, the better. There we go. That's pretty good. And a Drapion, wow. Well, thankfully I have something that can take that out. Go Vesuvian! Gonna Earthquake this bad boy, except it's probably going to live. That's the problem. Uh, I'm trying to think if I want to even use Curse or Acupressure, yikes! What are you going to raise? Evasiveness. That's not good! That's really not good. I don't think this will do enough. Nope, it didn't. Um, I just have to hope I can take it out. And I guess it doesn't matter what I use. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Why does it have Earthquake? What's that all about? Rude! Rude. That is so rude. I'm gonna get revenge with my Quick Claw. That thing has come in so much handy, I tell you, it is great during the game. Rhyperior? Whoa, that thing is big! Ugh, and it has a whole ton of defense, too. I'm going to use Maryland here, and uh, I'm trying to think, do I want to use Waterfall or Surf? I'm gonna go with Waterfall. Should do enough. It does have that thing that reduces damage from... Wow, it survived it! 
But it does have, oh, well, this one, I don't know if it has it or not, but I know that some Rhyperior have, what is it, Solid Rock, I think? And that basically lowers the super effective damage, which is pretty cool. I don't know if that one had it or not. Bastiodon! Um, I need a fighting type, darn it. Well, I'll just go with you, Maryland. I think superpower will suffice. Don't remember if this thing has sturdy or not, but we're gonna find out. And it does, like everything else in this game. Thunder? What on earth? Well, I'll admit, I never saw that one coming. <laughs> okay, that was a weird move. Well, I am now glad that I healed up, because I tell you, that would have been a little, a little messy if I didn't. Nurse or not, this lady's tough. Alright, well. Cool. Uh, yeah, so take her out and her legion of tough Pokemon. Oh, she's all the way down there. Oh, uh, that's gonna take a while to get to. Ugh, alright, well... I'll just use these items. I got plenty of money anyway. No need to be so conservative that I can't use them. I do have, like, a ton of Hyper Potions and full restores. Yeah, but this is Twist Mountain. Kind of an interesting place. And I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, Max Repel when I get back inside. But I want to take this guy out. Oh, twist and twist, twisting mountain, spiraling up like a fountain. <laughs> wow. Well, there's a there's a quote for you. Got to give that guy a, a new band or something. Hey, pal, Mr. Hiker Man, how's it going, dude? Why do I dig? Why do you fight? I don't know, man. Why do you dig? I'll tell you why I fight. I fight because you're in my way. Do you dig because mountains are in your way? Go it. Ooh, man. Well, this is not pleasant, to say the least. Um, well, let's just go for it. None of my other attacks are going to do any good. But that was actually enough to take it out. That's good. All right, what else do you got? Mamoswine! Whoa, that thing is a big, nasty thing. Um, hmm. And you're gonna be my best bet. So, am I going to miss twice in a row with high jump kick? Let's find out. Nope. Alright, I'm satisfied. That's good. One in ten chance. And I totally whiffed it last time. But I kind of expected it. So, I guess I can't totally be at fault. Alright, well that's just great. I'm so happy for you, pal, that you'd like to dig. Okay, um, I need to use that Super Repel. Oh yeah, Super Repel. I don't use Max Repels. Super Repels actually give you a slightly more bang for your buck. Because, uh, oh, it has to do with their cost and stuff and the amount of steps. Uh, Twist Mountain changes in every season and this old man changes in every battle. Well, what are you going to change into now, Mr. Old Man? Guess we're going to have to find out, huh? Worker Gus. How's it going, Gus? Oh, he has a Geodude. Geodude, Geodude. Well, I've got something for that. Um, hmm. Probably has sturdy, so let's just fake it out. Love that for getting rid of things. Also gives me an idea of whether or not to gamble with high jump kick or not. In this instance, jump kick is more than sufficient. Able to take it out, no problem. Goldor, ah! Uh. Please, Scaleaf. Get out there, my superior, my big old snake! Look at that thing. It's just so regal looking. Let's slash that boulder. I mean, Boldor. No! You evil thing! I hate that! 
so dumb! Ugh! Things with sturdy should not have explosion. That's just rude. Leaf storm. Uh, it's so strong, but... Problem is, I have a negative nature, and I could probably teach that if I didn't have strength. I prefer Giga Drain, to be honest, but... Eh, you know. Um, let's see. Steelix. That thing is a pain! Let's use Maryland to take it out. I'm just gonna use Surf on it. Yeah, the downside with Leaf Storm is it does lower your special attack by two stages afterward. That's not a problem if you're not really relying on special based attacks. So you can use that if you need one, and you want to hit for some decent damage. Oh wow, it doesn't have sturdy. I am amazed. Go easy? On a grown up? No way. That can't be right. Um, what do we have over here? Look at this thing hiding. It's a dusk stone! Cool! Very cool. That can be used to evolve so many different things. Well, not really. But it can evolve, uh, what is it, Lampent into Chandelure, and I think Miss Drevis into Miss Magius, and, uh, I'm trying to think, what's the other one? Murkrow into Honchkrow. Anyway, there's a yellow shard here. There's also another worker. Hold up, youngster, a battle will help you warm up. Oh yeah? I'm not cold. I'm not cold at all. Not at all. Why are you wearing so many uh, layers of clothes there, pal? Machoke? He ain't no joke! What are you doing bringing a machoke in here? I'm gonna show that thing who's the superior fighting type. Ah, oh, I should've used Fake Out. Oh wow, well, I don't want to chance it. This'll do more than enough to take it out, no problem. It doesn't have Sturdy or anything I need to worry about. Obama Snow? Whoa! I'm gonna burn that thing so fast. Go Vesuvian! Yeah! Uh-oh, it's gonna issue its snow warning. Trigger a hailstorm. That's not good. Oh yeah, quick claw. So good. This freaky looking plant thing is ice and grass type. Plus that snow warning is kind of annoying. But in this instance it was no problem. So that guy's sweating under there, that's pretty gross. I've had a bad experience with people sweating. Ugh. Still remembering that, that ride thing. I fight for my love of Pokemon. Well, good for you, I'm really happy for you. That's great, but will you heal me afterwards, Nurse Carol? Oh my goodness, a Blissey! Oh, it's so cute, kinda, even though I do prefer Chansey. But one awesome thing about Blissey is it gives you the highest experience in the game. I know, it's insane. It has the highest experience yield out of all of the Pokemon. Whoa. <laughs> that was fake out. That wasn't even... Yeah, it has absolutely horrible defense. Horrible. Too bad you can't use like a VS Seeker or something against this, because I don't even have the lucky egg on, and I'm gonna get 11,000 experience! I know, it's just so rich in experience. Oh, I don't want reversal. I don't need your shenanigans. Oh, it's so good. Why? Why can't I fight you more than once? Okay, well, that was a lot of experience, but that just goes to show you how great Blissey is in that regard. And right by her is a full restore, so she'll heal you up whenever you talk to her. That's good. Very good indeed. And let's just kind of walk on over here. But before we go in that door, let's pick up TM-91 Flash Cannon, which has somehow found itself up here. That's rather cool for certain Pokemon. Um, like, I think Lucario would appreciate it just because it has uh, steel type as is. Uh, whoops. Alright, so in this room, uh, over here, this spot right there, has a hidden Ultra Ball, should you want to pick it up. And then over here, there is a Rare Bone! I found so many of these things. There was a hidden item in that rock in the last game, but it doesn't seem to be there anymore. Oh, hello. Psychic Gem! Ooh, my gem is psychic! <laughs> Not really. Alright, so that looks promising. I wonder, uh, 
I wonder what that item is. It looks heavily guarded. In rotation battles, it's also important to know when not to rotate. Uh-oh, I smell a rotation battle! Not good! Well, let's see what uh, Caloris is going to do. Whoa! Gyarados, Archaeops, and Kangaskhan. Those are some tough dudes. I'm feeling alright about this matchup, except I really wish I wouldn't have sent out Sakurai first. Uh, well, let's just uh, give it a fake out and see what she's going to do. Shouldn't do too much. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, thankfully, I've got a pretty good thing going on here. You're not going to do me any good in this fight, Scaleaf. But I'm pretty sure that Magneto will just be able to wreck face here. Oh, really? Outrage. Oh, that's fun. Thankfully, I'm resistant. Yeah, this is fine. All right, cool. I'm in good position here. But you do want to watch out for that outrage because, as you can see, it is rather outrageous. I'm going to use Charge Beam. The reason for that is because it's going to take three hits to knock it out anyway, so I might as well miss with it, which is the one thing I needed to avoid. Ugh. Earthquake? No! Oh, come on. That's cheap. Uh, let's see. Oh, we'll just send out a miracle. Stupid thing. Gonna hit whatever's... Oh, no! Dragon Dance! This could be bad. Could be bad indeed. When Gyarados starts Dragon Dance, and you gotta watch out, because it can hit hard. Um, well, let's just try to take the hit. Oh, Kangaskhan's back. And it hit itself! I don't believe it! That never happens! Wow. It's so strong. Okay, now, is Gyarados going to stick around or not? Ugh. Well, it's probably not going to want to use Earthquake. Mm, see, I just... I need something to get that Archaeops out of the way. I don't think Return will do sufficient damage. Well, we'll just go for it. Don't hit too hard. That's fine. It's not ideal, but it's enough to take this monster out. The atrocious Pokemon, Gyarados. And, uh... Yeah, now we're just left with one Pokemon. So we can probably figure out how to take it out. Um... Ah, it's so tough. I'm gonna go with high jump kick and just hope I can take it. Oh no! Acrobatics. No chance now. Darn you! Well, it's okay. It'll give me an easy switch into Maryland. Who will have no difficulty with this thing at all? Let's give it a waterfall. Focus blast. Why on earth would it do that? Oh, well, it won't do enough unless it gets a critical hit. Not even close! And once half of this thing's hit points have been removed, it's, uh, what is it? Not Defiant, but... What ability did it have? Defeatus, that's it. It kicks in, and that lowers its attack and its special attack, I think. Maybe speed? I don't remember what it lowers. Anyway... Right past her, you can find the useful TM90 Substitute. This thing can come in handy particularly if you are focusing on building up a Pokemon stats because it puts up a substitute, um, puts up a substitute consuming 25% of the Pokemon's maximum hit points. That substitute will then absorb all of the blows dealt to that Pokemon until it breaks with those hit points. Um, doesn't sound overly useful, but if you're using a lot of X items and stuff, it's a good way of getting around critical hits and things. So it's very nice. Uh, it also gets around any special conditions and stuff, and any stat lowering. It's really nice on faster Pokemon, because if your opponent is using an attack that can't break that right away, then you can oftentimes just proceed to set up for the rest of the whole battle and stuff. Um, 
So yeah, let's see what this worker guy has. Hey, worker guy. Hey, worker guy. Actually, I just fought worker guy, and uh, never mind. Go Sigilyph! Oh, I wonder if he's using a Sigilyph. I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Worker Cliff and his Sigilyph. Oh, there's something there. Okay, I don't like this matchup. I gotta get Sakurai switched out. But I think I'll be able to take it out with a nice, well-timed fake out. We'll see how much this does. Pretty good. I think Acrobatics will be able to do the trick, but we're going to find out. Uh, no, not quite enough, but this thing wanted to use Cosmic Power to bolster its defenses, and I don't care about that, so let's use Acrobatics to take it out. There are a lot of trainers here. Yes, there are. Oh, wow, you're level 64. Hey, slow down there, pal. You're going a little too fast. A monstrously strong trainer. I am monstrously strong. Okay, um, hmm. We're gonna send out America, and we're gonna put Vesuvian up here. Just in case of another triple battle or something. All right, so, as you can see, there are two doors here. I don't think this one takes you anywhere. No, it does not. Although it does show you that item, which you can only get in the winter, if memory serves correctly. I'll have to see what it is. I don't even remember. They changed the location of a whole bunch of different things. And I haven't been through Twist Mountain yet. So, in here, you can jump down that way, should you so desire. Otherwise, you can fight this guy. When I am surrounded by rocks, my spirit goes up! <laughs> this guy loves rocks! Alright, well... I love rocks! He has a Larvitar. Ah, oh, that thing, it eats dirt. It eats whole mountains for breakfast. That's pretty great. Um, I'm going to take it out, though, with... Superpower. Boom! It looks so sad. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's all mad at me. I mean, it did kind of knock it out, but... No need to take it personal. Ooh, Probo Pass. Let's see, that thing could also use a nice fighting type attack. Uh, it has a lot of special defense. Oh, actually, Vesuvian will be great against it. We'll use Earthquake, and that'll take it out. All right, Schnoz Pass, we're gonna take you out with an Earthquake. Yeah. Excellent. And even enough to gain a level. Woohoo! Cool. Level 62. When I lose, my spirits sink. Aw, oh, that's too bad for you, pal. Didn't mean to sink your spirits. You sunk my battleship! <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Alright, what do you got on your team, pal? See the combination of my cool ice type Pokemon and my hot fighting spirit. Wow, maybe I'll have to see that, huh? Alright, wow. Oh, he has a Glalie on his team. Oh, that's an odd looking thing. Look at that thing. That thing looks weird. I don't particularly like this matchup, though. But I think a nice superpower to that thing's face will change my mind. Ugh. That thing looks so evil. Just look at it. it looks like some kind of Dragon Quest boss or something. Yeah. And a bird chick! Huh, well, a couple ways to do this. I don't want to use Super Power again against it. We'll go with Vesuvian. So many ways to take that out, man. Urgh, I'm magic. I got an icicle beard. <laughs> it has an icicle beard. It has an icicle beard! Oh no, it's thrashing. Ow. That's right, they upped the power of Thrash to 120 power. No wonder it felt like it was hitting so hard. With that Tauros. Alright, I've got an Ice and Heat combination. Yes, I do. So right over here is a Dusk Ball. Hmm, huh, joy. And there's a hidden Rare Bone in here. Well, I'm finding a whole ton of Rare Bones. Throw me a Rare Bone. Um... 
No hidden trainers, though. That's kind of cool. Cool! We're at the basement, or the bottom area. So there's a full restore, just kind of chilling in the trash. And is there anything cool in this little house? Nothing! Boring. Ugh. Alright, um, bulldozer. Let's see, I think up there can only be reached during the winter. Use another repel, why not? Wow, so many less hidden items. Alright, so, in here, this is the basement of, um, Twist Mountain. And you can talk to this guy every day, actually, and he'll give you something cool. If you look for something in an empty place like this, you can discover things like this fossil I just found. Take this. Cool, so I got an old amber. Well, it's unfortunate that she's so old, but I can take this thing to Nacreen City and have it revived into an aerodactyl. If you come again tomorrow, you might be able to find a fossil of your own. So come on out and play if you want. Yeah, you can talk to this guy every day and he'll give you a new fossil. The only thing is, he won't give you either the cover fossil or the uh, plume fossil, which are what make Arken and Tortuga. You can only get those when you go to Nacreen City in the first place. Now, I'm not going to show you that in this episode because that's going to be covered later on, don't worry. But definitely cool to talk to that guy to get your fossil fix. Now, head down those uh, stairs there and into this door here, and you'll find this place. Does this look familiar? Does it look familiar to you? Yep, right through there. I'll even show you, look. This is the route to Clay Tunnel. I know, we actually came from here earlier on, and this is one of the ways you can get into Twist Mountain. Um, right here is... Nice! TM71 Stone Edge. That is good. That is a great rock type attack. The problem is, it has low PP and lower accuracy than um than rock slide so whether you want to use stone edge or rock slide is oftentimes a personal preference depends on how lucky you're feeling vesuvian's feeling pretty lucky so i'm going to get rid of a uh, rock slide there haven't ever used it anyway haven't ever really needed to all right yeah that's a cool thing now also while you're in this room here if you have an eevee in your team and you gain a level, it'll evolve into Glacian, thanks to this chilly looking ice. It's a rock covered with ice. Touching it could make you freeze. Oh no. <laughs> I hate those rocks that when you touch them, it makes you freeze. Those are the worst. Should really stick my tongue to it or something, just to see what happens. Anyway, um, oh, really quick, just because I totally forgot, and in case you weren't paying attention in the last episode, or in case you didn't watch the last episode. I just want to reaffirm I'm going to be checking this out next time. See this door here? This leads you somewhere nifty. And I know I said nifty after like 50 episodes, but I don't care. Because it's about time to bring it back. Uh, it's still called Twist Mountain. It's kind of cool. But back here, if you have the three Reggies on your team, you can then go back there and awaken Reggie Gigas to fight it. I'll cover that on the next episode, so don't worry. But that's where you'd be able to find it. Oh my, I found me a ground gem. Cool. Found a ground gem on the ground. <laughs> Alright. So, let's, uh, let's head on outside here. Only a little bit left to explore inside of Twist Mountain. And I think it's just in this door. At least assuming we're not playing in the wintertime. Which I very well might go and do. Okay, what do we have over here? I know that guy. I'll fight him in a second. He's the exit, essentially. Uh, where does this take me? Nowhere! But if you're playing in the winter, you can access this place. So that's why it's there. At least I'm pretty sure. Doo -doo -doo. So in the winter, we can go to that place where the item or the dowsing machine was beeping at me, but oh. Hello, I'm a heavy machinery pro. And you, do you like construction trucks? I love construction trucks. Oh, I knew it. Construction trucks are cool, right? Now I'll give you a quiz. There are five questions in total. If you answer them all correctly, I may give you a present. Construction truck quiz. For short, true Q. 
Or truck, yeah! Now here's the question. Which place is famous for an old rusty crane truck? Uh... Uh... Wasn't paying attention? I think it's Verbank City. Correct! Well done! You're sharp! I know. Yay! Alright, so if you answer this guy's questions, I guess I'll give you something. I hear he gives you a medal for your medal collection if you get them all right, but you can only do one per day. Anyway, right through here, this is the uh, path to Isaris City. Nice. Um, I know, I know, we're, we're here. So, really quick, I think I'm actually going to do, I know, I know, I'm a bad boy, I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna do some time traveling just to check out what is going on in the winter time in Twist Mountain, because, let's face it, I don't want to do another episode on it later on, so I'm going to jump ahead to winter quick, just so this will be the episode for everything Twist Mountain, alright? I will be right back, I'll see you in a second, trainers. And wow, look, my Pokedex is at 300. Except I think it's because I saw Caldeo and Genesect. So I need to see two more before I can complete it. Anyway, that plays a role later. I will see you in a moment, trainers. All right, so if we go in and out of here, we're going to see it advance to winter. I know, it's winter again. I know I hate time traveling, but I really do like showing you everything. This isn't for my own benefit. I've... Oh no! There's a traffic cone blocking my route. Whatever will I do? <laughs> I don't like time traveling, but I do like showing you, the viewer, everything. So that's what's most important to me. Ah, missed that thing. Alright, so as you can see, Twist Mountain has changed quite a bit in the winter. Um, you can walk up here and get right on over to that nurse. She'll heal you up, or you'll fight her if this is your first time. Um, this room in here is inaccessible unless you're playing in the winter time. So let's see what we got. It has been two years since I secluded myself here on Twist Mountain. Now I'll take this chance to test the results of my training. Uh-oh, we've got a recluse here. He ran away to the mountains. He's a mountain man. And, uh, if he's anything like the other veterans in the area, he's pretty tough. Whoa, a Weavile. <laughs> I love Weavile's cry. Oh, this is a gamble. Does it have Ice Punch or doesn't it? Well, we're gonna find out, but I'm gonna use Super Power. Sword Stance. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It is scary seeing a Weavile use Sword Stance, but if you've got a Fighting-type attack, you're gonna be in great condition against this thing. It's very fast, but... One good fighting type attack, and it is done. It is done. I love its cry. All right. Oh, Rampardo. So am I. I haven't seen one of them in a while. Uh, who do I want to send out? I'm going to send out Magneto against it. Give it a dose of flash cannon. Yeah, fire some magnet lasers at this thing. Mold breaker. No, it's breaking my mold. <laughs> That's such a silly name for an ability. Pew! Yeah! Shoot a flash cannon right at it. More than enough to take that old thing out. Agron! Oh no. Um, hmm. Let's see. We are gonna go with Maryland here, and I know this thing has just a monstrous amount of defense. So I'm going to use Surf. It's not going to be enough to take it out, but it should at least do something pretty decent. Actually, Superpower... Ah, uh, Superpower might just work. But if it has Sturdy... Uh, I'm just going to use Surf. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. I'm not too afraid of this thing. I knew it wouldn't be enough. And I'm not even entirely sure a superpower would be. I know it's, like, quad effective, but if this thing had sturdy, it would live. And, you know, I don't really want to deal with that. Ooh, yeah, lots of experience. Cool. Toxicroak. Oh, no! Um... Yeah, we're gonna use America! 
Yeah! What are you giggling at? Let's use fly. Bulk up. Uh-oh. That's not good. Fly so high. Oh no, it's bulking up again! I might not do enough to knock it out. <laughs> It's not too bad. Stone Edge. Stone Edge! No! Yeah, America is done! Oh my goodness. Okay, I just need to outspeed that thing, so I'm gonna send out Sakurai. Hope he'll be fast enough. Mean Shao is pretty fast. Ah, oh, I should've used Fake Out. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It wouldn't have done enough to knock it out anyway. No, America! You took out America! How could you? So what is this guy guarding? It must be great. Oh, it's a big nugget. Well, that's pretty good. You can sell it for 30 grand if you take it to the guy in Isaris City, which is right next door. Okay, um, where is that nurse? I need to heal. <laughs> that is your love of Pokemon. Here is my love of Pokemon. I know. My love of Pokemon will always make them feel better. Always and forever. So, in this door, is this the door I do adore? No, it is not. It's not the door I shall explore. In fact, the door you shall explore is up here. See, I know all the way up here you can climb. Right on over to this door. And this is what will take you to a place that is only available in the winter months of Twist Mountain. And what do we have? Um, I don't check this place out all that often. There's a hidden thing right here. It's a rare candy. Great! Love me some rare candy. There's this guy running around like a crazed lunatic. Heavy labor is a breeze when you let a psychic type Pokemon take care of it. Now I can slack off and take it easy. Ah, yep, yep, yep. Yep, that guy. He likes his psychic types. Makes work so much easier. Smooch him. <laughs> Smooch him. Look at that thing. Oh, you know what? And thinking about that Pokedex, it probably doesn't count because you have to see every Pokemon in Unova in order to activate this thing where you get this pass that takes you to a cool place. It's called the Nature Preserve. And I'll, uh, I'll show you that later, don't worry, but I was getting a little excited. <laughs> Still, I've seen quite a few. Okay, Claydol! Oh, it feels so weak now in comparison. <laughs> I'm used to those veterans with their level 64 Pokemon hitting so hard. This guy with his weak psychic types do barely anything. Oh, Kadabra! Oh, Kadabra. Um... Shoot, I don't even know. Oh, I shouldn't have done Magneto. It has so much higher special defense than it does defense. Oh well, no big deal. Oh! Darn it, I forgot I had Signal Beam! <laughs> I knew there was a reason for this. Oh well. It's like I saw it the second, the millisecond I hit A. It's like, <gasps> Signal Beam, wait! I guess it didn't matter. I mean, Thunderbolt was enough to take it out anyway. But that was still pretty funny. So, over here, you can run this way and jump down that, and that'll just take it back to the beginning. Otherwise, you can walk over here and you'll find an eject button, which is really cool, actually. You can give that to one of your Pokemon, and then whenever it's damaged, it'll switch out. Now, that's not in itself overly, like, exciting, because you're thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Ooh, I don't want to jump down there. Why would I want to do that? Well, the reason is... For things like, I don't know, Hitmontop or anything with Intimidate, that works so nicely because you can use that and then you switch out afterwards and you can Intimidate again. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Nothing over there. Yep, so anyway, this is, uh, this is Twist Mountain. Yes, it is. Um, what I'm going to do now... Oh, I don't need to fly, come on. I'm too cool for that. Gonna head back to Isaris City. 
And in the next episode, we're going to go to that basement because I really want to see um, what Reggie Gigas is all about. But I have to go get myself the Reggie Trio. And if you haven't seen that already, you want to make sure you watch part 91 and part 92 because that shows you how to get them. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to do that in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon White 2 Adventure, which will be back to summer when I get back, don't worry. I'll see you next time, trainers!